Colin Graves, it's been a fantastic season for Yorkshire. Finals day in the T20, sealed with promotion here at Chelmsford. Great stuff. Yeah, it's been great to be honest, James. Um, if somebody had told me this last match, would have settled for it without a shadow of a doubt. And uh, I think in some ways it, it's proved that you know we always had the capabilities to uh, to play good cricket, and I think that was a big disappointment last year. You know, we shouldn't have been where we were. We got relegated, and I think they've proved a point. And as you came out, obviously at the end of last year, you were a bit scathing of the squad and their efforts last year. All turned around now, wasn't it? Yeah, I've just said to them up there. You know, I got them all together at the end and said, you know. What I said last year, you know, I don't regret it. Um, you know, we shouldn't have been where we were. They proved me wrong this year. That virtually they had the capabilities, and we're back in the first division. We want to stay there now and challenge. They showed a lot of character, really, haven't they, to come back to bounce back from the disappointments of last year and put such a good run together this summer. They have, and I think that's the that was a disappointment last year that we knew they had it in them to play, to play better cricket. Whether it was complacency a lot last year, I don't know. It's, it's history now, but they've shown fantastic character this year. They've Whatever they've done, batting and bowling and fielding, they've been outstanding and everybody's told me that, you know, who's watched them and uh, I think we've got a squad, to be honest, for the next 10, 15 years. The word I was supposed to say is sesquicentennial. That's the 150th anniversary next year. It's fitting that Yorkshire are back in the first division. Yeah, it is. We set them that challenge at the start of the year, to be honest, that we said, right, for our 150th, we want to be back in the first division. They've got us there and we'll enjoy it next year. Steve Patterson, season's finished with a win here at Chelmsford. It's been a fantastic summer. Fitting, really, you took the last two wickets, finished with 48 there. <laughs> been a good summer. Yeah, it's been a great summer. Uh, obviously, nice to get a few wickets myself, but more importantly, we've got promoted, and that's what we set out to do. And we've had a great summer. We've got a great bunch of lads, and uh, we're back to where we belong. Three wins in a row, sealed promotion. It's the first time the club's done that since 2005. Fantastic end. Yeah, brilliant end. Oh, we, we obviously we had a few ups and downs with the weather and stuff, but we knew we got the weather and we've got four days of cricket, we could be successful and we've proved that in the last couple of games. I know you said to me the other day you wanted to get to 50 wickets, you got to 48, nearly got there. It's been a fantastic personal summer for you with the ball. Yeah, it's gone well. I've enjoyed it. My, my goal is always just to try and get in the team and try and play and contribute and I feel like I've done that to some extent. Uh, it would have been nice, been nice to get 50 but at the end of the day we got promoted and that's all that matters. You've had to rearrange your wedding now for a trip to South Africa for the Champions League. Yep, yeah, uh, a little bit of admin there but it's uh, it's going to be a great experience, South Africa, and uh, I still get my wedding anyway, so uh, pretty lucky. Joe Root, stood here at Chelmsford celebrating promotion. It's a good feeling. Great feeling. <coughs> I mean, been looking forward to this um, for the for the whole year. We've we've worked really hard for it, and this was the goal we set at the start of the season, and for it to finally come true is fantastic. It was, as you say, it was a goal right from the pretty much relegation at the end of yeah. last year, wasn't it? To come straight back, and you've done that. Yeah, um, we. We have played extremely well, we've not lost all year and you know we've been stuck with the bad weather at times but just shown how good we've been through, throughout the summer of not, not losing and you know to come here and win the last three games like we have done has been a credit to all the lads and how, how well, well um, they've played and how, how hard we've worked throughout the whole summer. You won't remember this but the last time this club went through a whole season without being beaten was 1928, that's some achievement isn't it? Yeah it is um, and as I said we, we've been uh, hampered by the weather and it might have been slightly different um, if that wasn't the case and might have got a few more wins under his belt because we, we played some fantastic cricket and we missed out on some uh, on some good opportunities but you know we've, I think we've worked really really hard and I'm just so happy that today we can hey. have <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, fantastic, love it. Um, a strange question to ask you when you're covered in beer, but your personal contribution to the team has been excellent. Yeah, you must yeah. be very pleased with your own summer. Yeah, 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 I love it, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been um, a great summer, and I, as I said earlier, it's been um, really enjoyable to be a part of a team like this. And, you know, when you're part of uh, a winning side and uh, a successful side, it makes it all the better. And, to play with lads that enjoy the cricket like I do and uh, they make, make you want to turn up in the morning and you want to get on the field with them because it's great fun and you know we all enjoy each other's company which makes it all the better. As you know I've watched every match of yours this year, you've looked every inch in England player at certain times, you may not do quite now, have you got hopes for a winter tour? <sighs> it's out of my hands really so I just have to wait and see um, and you know what will we'll be will be so. Well, many congratulations on a great summer. Cheers, thank you very much. Cheers, James. Azim Rafiq. Oh, <laughs> Ivy! Can I just go here, please? Yeah. They'll get me then. He won't get you. <laughs> we'll go sideways. No, no, no just sideways. stay there. He won't get you. He won't get you.
as your feet. Five foot following three wickets in the first innings, two fifties. Your best burst of match in the championship, and what a time to have it. Yeah, obviously it's worked out well in the end. Uh, like I said, we've worked hard throughout the season, and uh, especially the last uh, few weeks, we've been under some immense pressure uh, to get uh, to go up, and uh, obviously lovely to get uh, a performance like that in the final game. Obviously, Derbyshire winning their game means that Yorkshire finished second, but it was all about promotion this week, wasn't it? Yeah, obviously we'd have loved to have won it, but uh, we've done everything. Uh, we've been unbeaten throughout the year, and uh, we've won games that, uh, for the last few weeks under some serious pressure. And uh, if them two days at Sc uh, Scarborough when it was raining. Um, <laughs> Talking about rain. <laughs> them, <coughs> them two days at uh, Scarborough when it was raining. Obviously, we, ne we never thought we would be in such a position uh, of, uh, that we'd go into this game actually not even needing anything uh, to get promoted. So, delighted the way it's gone throughout the year, and uh, really proud of everyone. And your summer's been fantastic. You're captain in the T20, enjoyed success there. You've played ten first-class games in the Championship for Yorkshire. That's what you wanted, wasn't it, at the start of the year to to, to actually contribute. Oh yeah, definitely. I wanted to uh, try and uh, make my mark in uh, in the first team cricket and uh, help uh, us uh, win games and more importantly be involved in a successful team. I mean, you see the celebrations; the lads are really happy, and that's uh, we want more of that. And uh, uh, we've gone to a finals day this year, and uh, cup, obviously going to Champions League and uh, getting promoted, and uh, we're, we're very happy. I guess it's now a job to go to South Africa to uh, go compete in the Champions League, but then to come back stronger if anything in the in Division 1 next year yeah I think uh, we're not really going to think about that right now I think it's time to just uh, chill out enjoy enjoy the day enjoy the evening uh, with all our teammates with the families and uh, uh, just the supporters everyone's put a lot of hard work in and then uh, we can uh, switch off for now and then switch back on before the Champions League and just enjoy everything really